Nine Live Adelaide, brought to you by My Budget. Live the life you want free from money worries. My Budget can make that happen. The end of the financial year is five days away and that means five more days of the mid-year sales and it could either make or break the family budget. Tammy Barton from My Budget joins us now. Uh, Tammy, what's the best way to make the mid-year sales work for us rather than against us? Well, retailers are really hoping that we will see their sales and their specials and then we'll impulse, impulse buy. But please resist, even though they are a great way to save money on things we need, and I emphasise things that we need. So I would avoid trying to buying anything that you don't actually need. So think about money that you may spend in the next, next six months. So birthdays or even Christmas presents or a wedding that you've got coming up, money that you would ordinarily spend. You could actually take advantage of these sales and buy those gifts now and save save yourself money. But please try and avoid buying things that you don't actually need because it's just going to be additional expense and extra clutter that adds up. Yeah. Um, now, what about big ticket items? They're often uh, some tremendous sales as well when it comes to white goods, computers, TVs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, you get a good sale, but it's attached to an interest-free offer. Can that be ever be a good idea or is, you know, an interest-free <laughs> loan always a bad idea? Well, if you've got cash in the bank, you can actually take advantage of those interest-free deals by asking the retailer for a discount because we all know that retailers paying the finance company some sort of fee or percentage. So you could use that to your advantage if you have the money in the bank and say, can I get a discount instead of you paying the um, finance company? So sometimes that can be a good idea. Um, it just really depends. But if you are going to take advantage of a buy now pay later deal, just be aware that um, you are entering into a loan contract. So make sure that you can afford it and that you're going to be able to pay the purchase back within the interest free period because that's where I see a lot of people get into trouble. They don't actually make the repayments to pay it off within the interest free period and then they get slapped with a really high interest rate at the end. Yeah, no one wants that. Um, and the thing, as you mentioned earlier, that gets us into trouble, impulse buying. Mm. How do we avoid an impulse buy when we see something that is, you know, a flashing 60% sign off. How do you make that mind shift, I guess, to, uh, to not buy something that you perhaps don't need? Well, that's the thing. Retailers set up their stores so that when we go in, we feel good, we've got bright lights and it smells nice and there are balloons and it's all there so that we do make that in impulse buy. Um, so what I would suggest is walk away from the item. Do you really need another pair of black shoes? Uh, you know, and go and distract yourself and do something different and then go back and see how you feel about the item. And also check, is it a legitimate discount? So jump on your phone, mm. you can buy it somewhere else, just check that it really is uh, a legitimate discount because you can get yourself caught out thinking you bought something 60% off and really, you know, it was only a small discount anyway. Yeah, Tammy Barton from My Budget. Some good advice not to get stung there on the mid-year sales. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Will.